Hello everyone, this video I will show you our new product and this we called KCH68A4S board and this board we have added many hardware resources uh, based on this old A4 board and this old A4 board have released by two years ago so mainly used by the Wi-Fi and the wireless the 4 channel really output but this time we have designed this new board the new board also have Four channel relay, but have many digital input that have 12 digital input, and uh, will also have the demo output, the analog, the out to 10 volt, uh, about 8 channel analog output and 8 channel PWM output. But for the communication part, we have added the Ethernet and added the IS485 supported by this board. Also, we will support the GSM for same color use. So 2G and 4G or 3G all can be used by this board. And this board also will uh, compact with ESP Home used for the Home Assistant. Also you can write the Arduino code uh, download to the ESP32. And let's look at this board hardware details. Let's look at this is A4S board. You can see uh, this is the PCB board. This is in front of the side. And this is the back, back side. You can see the PCB details. Okay, let's introduce you. Uh, this is the ESP32 module. And this is Ethernet. And this is digital input. So that will support 12 volt logical or by the dry contact signal input to here and that is analog output you can use for dimmer that is 8 channel of 0 to 10 volt output analog and this is a chip that extends the analog for 16 channel output so this is 8 channel for 0 to 10 volt and here is the PWM output extend just controlled by this chip that is is I2C chip have connect with this ESP32 module. And this is I2C extend. So you can extend for I2C temperature sensor or humidity sensor or many different sensor. And here we can see that is the relay, uh, four, ch four channel relay. That the max is support 10 ampere for large current. And the normal open, normal close and com for every channel. And here you can see that is the analog input and IS485 and some buttons uh, for reset and for user define. You can define uh, this GPIO zero so that you can program this, this case function by yourself. And here you can see that is the socket. That is for RTC module. That is DS3331. You can see here. When we install this RTC module, just as this way, DS3231, that is high quality RTC chip. So this can installed by this cop. Just this way. And here you can see this is socket. You can see here. You can install this is 2G module. This is GSM module. That is used for 2G. That is SIM 800 GSM module. But I think some countries have stopped use the 2G signal. So you can also replace with this module. And with this one, this is SIM 76. Zero, zero. That is for 4G. So that will be speed will be fast communication with the internet. If you want to use this module, then you can connect with this socket. And this also can use the COP just just uh, as this way. Use this board to fix because uh, that have a hole that have a hole on the PCB so you can install this 4G module and this 4G module also will support this GPS function so this, this have two antenna 
this is for GSM and this is for GPS. So you can connect with this two antenna. Uh, this is for GSM and this is a GPS antenna. So that for GPS uh, date and send to internet uh, for this solution. So this is the A4S board and you can see here that is A4 board. So this board have released two years ago. So many people like this board uh, about this multifunction. And this board also you can see that is a thin size, almost a thin size, but the hardware resource will be many, many, many have new resource than this old person. And also you can see that is the plastic shoe and installed on the thin rail. So you can install on the thin rail. Just use this plastic shoe. And we can open it. And you can see I can put this A4S board on this board and close this this one so you can see here and you can see the back that is for communication and for the interface and the install on the thin rail for this case so I think uh, this is different big different from this A4 part and this one I think you can make many different IoT project uh, used by this A4S board. Okay, thanks for watching.